Hi, we're in Rugby today visiting Techno Group Precision Engineering. This facility, along with their other facility in St. Leonard's, houses a multi-machine fleet of machine tools. Various machines doing various things which we're going to go and take a look at. And these are of course working in tandem with our Wogard coolant and oil saver. Let's go and take a look. Hi Adam, great to be here today. Morning Jason. How's things? Yeah, really good. Um, yeah, after everything that we've been through, you know, we're, uh, we're on the other side of it. Absolutely. And um, we're coming out nice and strong. So yeah. thank you for taking the time to come <laughs> here today. Well, it's great to be here and it's great to get out and see you know, manufacturing in action. Yep. See the super line of machines that we're going to see in a moment. Um, and see how also the coolant saver has been working with you as well. But let's, take, let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look around. Through. So we're quite nicely uh, laid out here in Rugby. We've got uh, a bank of our sliding head machine tools all working on neat oils uh, down our right uh, and fixed head and prismatic milling over on the, on the far left. So let's, let's have a look, look so around. A whole, first. So a whole different range of size work from the small kind of components right up to larger. So we, we work uh, the, the bottom half of this section is yep. 20 mil Tornos machines, uh, gammas, so you can either operate sliding or fixed head. Really nice, versatile machine. Yeah. Uh, we've got 12 mil capacity sliding head in the Star SB12 oh. as well. Uh, that's a really nice machine with the HFT high frequency turning option. So that allows us to really run some great lights out machining. Then we've got- uh, Obviously all with the oil savers as well. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So everything on neat oil, which is yeah. really important for us recovering that from the yeah. swarf bin. Then we go into 20 mil machine and 32 machine, mill machines, and I've got a brand new one to show you later. Very nice, on. very nice. Our machines are, are obviously top, top class, uh, how we process everything, but also then down to our tooling yep. and our cutting oils. Yep. And we yep. recognize that the cutting oils play a massive part in that yep. process. So when you make that investment, you don't want it in the bottom of the swarf bin. Absolutely. You want to get it back out and get it back yep. into the yep. machine. And that's, that's where the the oil savers and the coolant savers yeah. work exceptionally well for us. Gotcha, gotcha. But here we've got our yeah. fixed head section. So oh, we okay. start yeah. 51 mil capacity here, and then 64, and then we have a, a bank of a BNJ 42 SYs. But these two machines here are our ABX 64s, biggest capacity we've got on bar feed. Um, obviously we can turn and swing, swing more than that, but 60 more, 64 mil bar feed capacity. Yeah. And obviously on this side, it's water miscable uh, coolant, there's a lot of factors to consider, and unfortunately, through through my uh, previous experiences, uh, I learned a lot about uh, metalworking fluids and the impact on the process. And one of the key features of, of all of this and controlling concentration and controlling the process is around controlling the level of coolant in the machine. Yep. So if we allow 20, 30 liters of, of coolant across a 24, 36 hour shift to to accumulate in our bin, that could be 10% of our coolant capacity out of the bottom of the machine. If you allow your levels to drop and your evaporation to increase, concentration increases, mm. and then, in, then what you drag cool. out yep. is even more concentrated and even more expensive. A, so it's really, really point, important to, yeah. to keep those levels up. So, so now, as well as we, we go out of uh, the, the pandemic, we're looking to um, expand our operating hours. So for, for a while, we've been just single shift, day shift. We're now pushing um, to reduce our lead times. We're looking to expand our operating hours, bring on a second shift into the evening right. to get as much as we can out of the machines. We push our unmanned running as much as possible, which again is really important around the the oil savers and the coolant I savers. I guess you're running overnight, you don't want them sums to be running dry. No, yeah. we, we don't want them alarms <laughs> yeah, popping up no, and stopping exactly. and stopping yeah. production. So it is really important that they're, they're you know, in, in the bottom of the bin, getting that coolant back and, and that oil back into the machine. So we're looking to do that to hopefully reduce our, uh, our lead times and, and get our, our throughput from the factory even more. So this is our, uh, this is our latest machine investment. Uh, brand new Citizen M32 uh, Series 5 machine, so uh, facing our Series 4 machine. And um, th this was, uh, this is a, a, 
a great machine tool. As soon as it's hit the ground, it's been into production. It has the LFB technology oh, on it. Oh, is that the vibration? Yeah, so, so you so can the, really hit the components. Yeah, take the chip so out and... it's an oscillation. It's quite a, a, a complex path from the, the, you know, it's all controlled within the control form set. It's a yeah. brilliant, brilliant technology and works on a massive range of materials. Um, so we, we can be machining quite a lot of malleable materials, coppers, aluminium, sometimes plastics. Uh, and they give us a problem when we're drilling or turning because yeah. of nesting up yeah. in the swarf. But the LFB technology has been proven as soon as it hit the ground, absolutely proven. And then we come through uh, to our prismatic machining. Um, now this is an area of a significant investment for us in the next uh, 12 months. We have a, a project that we're uh, looking to fund with um, uh, some aerospace funding, um, introduce full five axis capability, robot loaded, oh, okay. but then introducing in there as well uh, an inspection so the whole, capability. The whole ability to check, so, adjust and... Absolutely. Oh, that's really great to hear. Thank you very much. Really excited to hear about the new project. Um, and it's such a l nice clean area and hopefully that's something we've, we've uh, helped with as well. Certainly has. And uh, look forward to seeing the new project when it gets going. Thank you, Jason. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.